guys welcome back this is a boy again adam sling welcome back to another crazy video please try as much as possible to like this video comment share it on all should be platform follow me on instagram twitter facebook adam sling media make sure you subscribe and click that bell notification to get updates anytime any day i upload and meanwhile good morning good afternoon good, good evening wherever you are watching this video from so starting this video i want to talk about whiskey and david Obert. firstly have you guys seen uh the best music video david Obert featuring Miyoko? Man, that music video is dope. It's dope. I'm going to honestly tell you now that, see, when it comes to music video, I love David O more than any other person releasing music video videos in Nigeria. Yeah, that's to me. And when it comes, uh, when it comes to uh, music, I'm going to tell you that I love whiskey music more than any other artist in Nigeria. But David O's music video are bomb. They are bomb. There's storyline to it. There's charisma and so many other stuff combined to it. And let me just tell you that uh, David O knows how to employ people who contribute greatly to his career. It's not the best when it comes to talent, but when it comes to business mind and knowing what he wants and what he wants to get from some certain things, he really know knows how to sit down and get it done. And that is why you see he employ a lot of people who are competent. The other day I talked about Ginger music video. I told you that see, I love Ginger music very well, very very well. But the music video, honestly, I'm kind of like disappointed. And you guys were, were saying like, oh, it's locked down, it's locked down. What do you expect them to do? I expect them to come down to Africa or where where they were in Ghana and join them to shoot correct Ginger music video, not shoot it in London. All those kind of stuff, huh? Honestly, I'm going to tell you from the bottom of my heart, when it comes to music video, David Do for me is number one. But I love Whiskey's songs way more than any other person. I know you guys be like, oh, he hates David Do, he hates Whiskey, he hates uh, Bono Boy, or he hates also person. Then tomorrow you will say, oh, he's David Do fan, he's Whiskey's fan, he's Bono Boy fan. No, I'm not anybody's fan, but I have my own differences. I have the person that I li like the most. And uh, let me talk about David Do's crew member shading whiskey. And that's not good. And this is coming from a particular member who has been in David Do's corner for years. And this guy's name is Special. Special wrote, he said, Whiskey is somewhere smoking some good herbs. Observing are you. Well, why are you writing about, why are you calling the whiskey name all heartedly, all outrightly? On your front page on Instagram, the same day, David Do, your boss, decided to drop music video, the best music video featuring Miyoko. Why did you decide to call out Whiskey's name? What is your own, what is your business with Whiskey? I think it's quite disrespectful. You shouldn't be doing that. I think this is one of the problem. Crew members keep talking about other artists. You as an artist just need to Call your crew member and say, see, it's all about the business. Please stop calling anybody out. Don't even don't even say hi to anybody. Just focus on our success. Because you don't really need to put whiskey name on your post on the day David O decided to put uh, to put out the best music video. And he also said that other artists learn from David O. This guy, this particular guy too. Well, apart from that, I love Whiskey uh, David O music videos. He really he, he 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 knows how to get down to produce video. Even if all those ideas are not his, he employs people. At least he chooses. He knows exactly what he wants. I applaud other artists also. Please, if you want to drop music videos, because we have already listened to the audio. There's no need for you dropping music video if you know your music video will be whack. So try as much as possible to pull more effort into it when you are dropping a music video. Because it's like extra. Not just drop music video, oh, the dance with guests and all those kind of stuff. Give us storylines. I want to see storyline. And that is what I saw in uh, the best music video featuring, uh, featuring Miyoko. The storyline to it. And I really, really love that music video. The producer really tried. And uh, of course, let's move over to other topics. A Nigerian man died in Dubai police custody after being arrested for flaunting dollars on IG. 
when i saw this news yesterday i simply wrote below the comment section saying that we no go agree that is what i wrote on instant blog below the comment and honestly i don't see why any nigeria should be blaming this guy or keep it quiet this guy decided to flaunt money on social media and so what i don't i never see it's not a crime to flaunt money on social media but it's advisable not to flaunt it on social media because of what it attracts negativity that it attracts but it's not a crime to flaunt money on social media especially when you know you get your legit money just imagine dango thing now flaunting his money on social media is it a crime will you say oh oh it should be uh, that he's doing your your other stuff no a lot of nigeria will just keep it quiet oh they do they have been warning them they don't hear this guy was arrested for flaunting money on social media so you arrested him and so the, how did he die how did he die on your custody well according to the news they say a nigeria businessman allegedly dies in dubai custody after being arrested for flaunting cash on instagram the nigeria businessman prince obese nestor who was arrested by the dubai police after he flaunted walls of money online as allegedly died in custody it was gathered that obese who was said to be into oil and gas was arrested on tuesday january 12 2021 a few days after he posted videos on this is according to source after he posted the videos the police stormed his house and arrested him they didn't allow anyone to visit him not even his lawyer or girlfriend has access to him he was arrested by cid of dubai and i believe he was tortured during interrogation he died in police custody and he has been deposited in the mortuary and you guys are laughing blasting saying that oh yes another one they don't hear what what the he <laughs> oh. <laughs> these people are just killing people for nothing see it's not a crime to flaunt it's not a crime to flaunt though is part of his death is is uh he caused his death some way but it's not a crime to flaunt it's just advisable not to flaunt i can decide to flaunt my money i can decide to flaunt my my 15 naira 100 naira here is it a crime it's not a crime so why are you guys just uh i see i see the comment sections I simply I wrote yesterday that we no go agree, and a lot of people will be like say, "Why you no go agree?" Somebody says, "Keep your life to yourself. Stop the show off." The funny thing is that if you check our Nigeria prison, you will not see one white man, even foreign albinos there. But Nigerians are dying every day in foreign prisons. Is it that the whites are not committing crimes in Nigeria? They have, but Nigeria police are working with them to commit the crimes they need to answer questions how did he die what was his crime and why was he being tortured is it part of the, the osh puppy yahoo yahoo guys or has he committed any crime has he duped anybody we need all those questions need to be asked but no but no, we never ask all those kind of questions. We are too busy doing other things. Our God. Well, let us uh, just keep watching. And meanwhile, there was news yesterday that uh, EFCC has arrested another set of Yahoo boys. Another set of Yahoo boys. And let me tell you this thing. If I was a state governor, huh? If I was a state governor, honestly, oh, I'm gonna say this. You see all those Yao Yao guys they are arresting anyhow. I'm not gonna allow it in my state. I'm not gonna allow it in my state. You cannot just go around ar ar arresting boys who are developing because if you check really, really well, guys, honestly, the development in most of all those places are mainly done by private people. People you don't know how they make their money. As long as people and uh, people are not dying, 
there's no like uh, atrocity when it comes to ritualists or all those things all those guys using all those kind of stuff as long as long as they are not in my state it doesn't happen in my state i'm telling you i'm not going to allow any policeman to come to my state and harass anybody i'm not going to allow efcc to come to my state to har harass anybody let it be known that yes i am abhorring all those yow, yow boys tell me a country who doesn't have all those people why is it that we are being like we have been robbed with mud all those things making us look bad and all those kind of stuff huh is it that we are the people who commit the crime the most? I'm not see. I don't support y'all. Yeah, you guys know me that I never ever support all those kind of stuff. Most especially those guys who do ritualists and all those. I don't support them at all. I told and those people who do ATM scam, jobby people online call. I don't support them at all. In fact, all people should be arrested. But do it properly. Do it properly. They will just storm hotels. Storm. Uh, somebody business just go and arrest people like that and that person business based on they know that yes uh, yeah, uh, EFCC police usually come to that place to arrest a, a people both innocent both innocent and the and the and the yow yow boys they will just pack everybody they just they don't come with correct intelligent information that okay this particular guy is a yow yow guy let us go and arrest that person they will just storm a hotel or club simply because they know that a lot of people come there to spend money they will just storm down and arrest everybody and those hotels and club that find their way to bribe the police they they don't come there or they don't come there so they have been partial they are partial in it so me if i was a state governor you dare not come to my state to harass any young man no. let him spend the money in my state yes let him build houses but you dare not. In fact, my vigilantes, my vigilante, I will especially give them the instructions that see if you see any EFCC person coming to any club to harass, please stand on their way. Don't allow them to arrest any single person. You must be able to prove have a, 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 a paper that authorizes you to arrest one particular person. You cannot just be coming and packing everybody out. I don't support your boy, but uh, also uh, I don't support uh, nonsense. And there's this particular actor, I don't know, in Hollywood actor, Uche Madugwe, who is usually known for calling out, uh, for cursing all those Nigerian celebrities, most especially David Doe, for not marrying Choma. He has been on David Doe's neck for a long time, saying that how can he keep somebody's daughter as long Lord of the Ring? For many for for months for years that he should go and marry Choma. He has we, we know him for that. But surprisingly, he said he's proudly gay. He said, I appreciate others and share only love. We need to respect people's choices, not to judge them. So let's practice Jesus kind of love. See, please don't say Jesus kind of love, eh? Practice love, just say simply love, eh? not Jesus kind of love. Well, he said he's gay. And uh, people now understand this is the reason why he's on uh, Davido's neck. People now understand the reason why he's on Davido's neck all the time. And uh, this is what Toki Makiwa said. If I listen to all the names I've been called, I won't be where I am today. You might not be the popular opinion, but the truth is much bigger and better than the comfortable lies people tell themselves fight for you this this you know when she came outside uh, advising our young girls to go out there and explore a lot of men as possible now is saying that uh she not sorry she is saying that if uh that uh she's saying you might not be the popular opinion but your truth is much bigger than better than the comfortable lies people tell you so what is the truth the truth is that it is right for 20 years old young ladies to go out there to explore to date bunch of guy girls the the honest truth is that did you also do the same did you why are you 
if you must leave your own truth leave your own truth and stop coming out there asking our 20 years old beautiful responsible young girls to explore a lot of relationships come on man how about come on you cannot be going out there and, uh, at the same time you are saying that you will not get to where you are we already know our story we know where she's coming from we know her ups, her ups and down we know a lot of things I really commend her being the kind of woman she is today, but you don't have the right to come out. What she said yesterday really pissed me off. She's saying that our young girls should go out there and have numerous relationships. I, I had that right. She said that yesterday. Really, really pissed me off. And that is not the way that we should be raising our beautiful, beautiful uh, women. And uh, here's what the pastor said. He said, you must submit to your husband and not your pastor women who do not submit to their husbands at home but submit to their pastors are hypocrites go to church you say daddy daddy da who is your daddy who is your daddy 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 you are buying down to greet your pastor you have never bowed down to greet your husband you are a hypocrite. said, when women who don't submit to their husband at home, but submit to their pastor are hypocrites. Well, guys, I kind of like supporting, but let us remove that hypocrisy. But honestly, you see, eh, women, eh, I don't understand. I don't get see. I'm not comfortable. My friends, my Christian friends, friends, we have had this argument several times why must you call your pastor daddy and his wife mommy what is the what is the ideology of calling your pastors daddy and their wife mommy like how you see a very old woman we call her daddy the young pastor daddy what is the, i don't understand though i'll be bowing down and meanwhile when you get home you'll be disrespecting your husband even men too they will go to church bow down for their own uh, pastor's wife bow down for their pastor and meanwhile your wife is there you are treating her like garbage you are treating her like garbage why are you out there buying for somebody's wife mommy 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 yeah mommy you have not even cleaned your house you have not cleaned your house sweep your environment clean your environment cook food but you are ready to leave your house and go to church to sweep church. <laughs> the ideology about that. Cleanliness begins at home. Clean your house first. Make sure you do everything. Do it all before going. Even to Muslims. God won't be happy with you if your house is dirty first. And meanwhile, you go to the mosque to start sweeping the mosque. Like, what's the ideology about that? Charity begins at home. Start with your house first before going outside, before going to God's house to sweep. There's no blessing in anything when your house is so dirty and meanwhile you go to the house of God to sweep it. The God lives in your house first before that church or that mocks. It's just simple logic, man. But people still miss it. I don't get it. People still miss it. See, very, very simple. And meanwhile, Erica said, only Africa Christians would buy a factory and convert it into a church where they will pray for jobs. Only Africa Christians would buy a factory and convert it into a church where they will pray for jobs. Men, before you get married, make peace with the girl you this virgin. It's important. Well, wahala for those guys who don't the virgin girls before. Wahala for you guys. So if you have this virgin like more than five uh, girls, because there are gay guys out there who are specialized in this virgin. It's like their job, not just to the this virgin girls. Waka waka. So if you are and you want to get married, <laughs> make sure you walk around the way you take this virgin all those girls. Walk around and go and make peace with them. Eh? This lady said, you get why, that you have to do it. It's very, very important that you do it. 
well uh thank you very much for watching it's your boy here adam slink uh don't forget to like this video comment share it on all social media platform follow my instagram twitter facebook i'm gonna see you in my next video stay tuned i don't go anywhere have a wonderful day bye